It looks like things are getting a little bit worse with the United States military preparing for what they are calling a sustained military option on multiple fronts. Reports that are being sent to the U.S. government and the U.S. military right now show that China is simulating attacks on U.S. warships using both space weapon systems and hypersonic missiles. Japan and NATO, right here, they, they are in talks right now to establish a secure line of communication for the rapid exchange of sensitive, secure information. The new mechanism is a consideration uh, that is intended to respond to cyber attacks and disinfo plots by the Chinese and the Russian governments. We have an incredible, an incredible amount of distortion, distortion in our marketplace right now. They are, they are saying, saying that China, China and Russia are going to push for an economic, economic crisis, crisis that sends chaos, chaos into the streets, streets of the United States, States of America. America. Now, I don't I know don't about, about you, you but... but we do have a general, a general understanding, understanding with economists, economists that we are only a couple of days away from a supply chain issue, and we're also only a couple of days away from chaos in the streets given a black swan event. So here they are saying that they are preparing for China and for Russia to push for a disinfo campaign that will send chaos into the streets of America. That sounds like it's about time for you to maybe consider when and where you're going to bunker down at. The General, the General Staff, Staff of the Armed, Armed Forces, Forces of the Republic of Belarus, of Belarus has revealed that the country, which now holds onto Russian, Russian nuclear missiles, according, according to a new military, military doctrine, doctrine, they will, they will consider, consider any attack on Belarusian allies, allies as, an as an attack on their, on their own, own territory. territory. Now, this now, is this setting is up a means, means for Belarus, Belarus to use nuclear weapons, weapons even on a limited scale, scale as, as Ukraine, Ukraine attacks, attacks Russia. Russia. New research, New research has found has that 90% of all the protein sources in the United States of America, including alternative sources like vegan sources, now have microplastics in them. 90%, guys, they are poisoning the world very slowly. The U.S. on Thursday released what it is considering uh, the first national industrial defense strategy. They are acknowledging right now that a decline in the industrial base as well as coming supply chain shortages and the outflow of weapons to Ukraine are each leaving America vulnerable. They say companies that are supplying the Pentagon face frustration at a lumbering pace because they understand what's happening. We know it's we know not it's easy not to work, to work with, with the Department of Defense, Defense, they say, and many of you in the audience tell Laura, Laura Taylor Kale, Kale, which is the U.S. US Assistant Secretary, Secretary of Defense, Defense a, in, a in a newly created, created position, position, that we that are, we are here. here. So what, so it, what is, it is, what is it that we need to move forward? forward. They say war fighters, fighters are needed. Are needed. Supply chain, chain issues are needed. needed. Guys, we are in a 15-year deficit with the ammunition we will need to fight Russia and China. We can't afford to wait, they say. We will not be able to counter China effectively. If the U.S. government and our military faces severe doesn't face severe reforms, we are behind the curve. They have said the declining base, the supply chain constraints, the weapons sent to Ukraine are all uh, taking attacks on the U.S. military capabilities. Moving forward, the Russian Federation has warned against all NATO activities. Guys, we are bringing this information to you here, Full Spectrum Survival, only on YouTube. If you are watching somewhere else, like Facebook or Twitter, go to YouTube.com, type in Full Spectrum Survival, hit the subscribe button down here, talk in the comments, join the FSS family. We appreciate you here. The Russian Federation has warned against all NATO activities. The spokesperson for Russia has said the increase in these activities and the military capabilities near Russia's, Russia's borders, borders are, are a provocation, a provocation of, war of war against Russia. Russia. It will lead, lead to an escalation, escalation of military, military tension, tension, contrary to what Western, Western politicians, politicians try to convince the normal, normal citizens, citizens of, of Europe. Europe. Now, now, we know, we know that, Germany that Germany put out, put out that, that secret document. document. They let it they leak. leak. And, and they, they said, said Russia, Russia is going to go after other countries next. Zelensky has been saying this since the beginning, while he says, feed me your money, feed me your ammo. The United, United States, States of America, America the president, president, Joe Biden, Biden just, just said, said that if we fail Ukraine, Ukraine we, fail we fail all of Europe. Europe. We, we are in the largest tank and trench warfare, warfare campaign, campaign since, since World, World War II. II. Russia, Russia has said, said that we have, we have returned, returned Russia, Russia to Cold War, War doctrine. doctrine. That means they are ready to fire off the nuclear missiles even at the glimpse of an attack from the United States of America. On every front. We're being, We're being attacked. attacked. <coughs> Excuse, Excuse me, China. China. 
Taiwan, Taiwan Russia, Russia, NATO. NATO. The, Middle the Middle East is on, is on fire, fire, guys. We are we looking, looking at a six-month six supply chain, chain problem, problem with what, with is, what is happening in the, in the Red, Red sea. sea. They're diverting they're oil tankers. tankers they're diverting they're supply chain tankers. tankers. Now, let me now, tell, you, tell you what happens. You might say, well, I live in America. That doesn't matter to me. And it absolutely does because they're not just going to stop supplying supplying the people people in that side of the world. world. So So as it takes it it longer to get to them, they're going to divert divert some of of your goods. goods. That's your your medicine. medicine. They're going to divert divert your parts parts for your air conditioning system. system. Your Your stove stove won't be repaired. repaired. Your plumber plumber won't won't be able to get the things he needs because because those those parts are going to be diverted around the world. They were intended for you back when the supply chain worked fluidly. Now they're going to be diverted to another part of the world, which is going to half and half the problem. That means they get half of a supply chain problem. You get half of a supply chain problem. Now you're looking at a four to six week backup that's going to turn into a four four to six month backup. backup. We have all of these these shipping shipping container giants giants, not only charging charging exorbitant exorbitant prices, prices, they let this just inflation go through the roof. roof. They are are also also saying saying this is is bigger than the pandemic. pandemic. They are are each each saying saying that this this is going going to cause cause shortages shortages unlike unlike anything anything we have ever seen before. before. Now, whether whether they have have a little bit better of an idea of how to stopgap these shortages because of what they went through with the pandemic, I don't know. But what I am saying, is I'm going, I'm going on, on to Amazon, Amazon and I'm going, going on to Walmart, Walmart I'm, going I'm going on to uh, Sam's, Sam's Club, Club and, and I am starting, starting to see out of, uh, out of, not out of order, what is it? Uh, out, of out of stock warnings, warnings. or one, one left, left in stock, stock two, two left in stock. stock. We're, already We're already starting to see a little, little bit of it. So that tells me as a prepper, as an individual, it's time to maybe start thinking a little bit further ahead. Maybe I don't need that resupply of calcium carbonate. Do you know what that is? That's Tums. Well, Well, how else else do you get calcium calcium carbonate? carbonate. Well, you can can sterilize, sterilize, bake, bake, and crush up eggshells from your chickens. chickens. Or if you're just making making eggs at home and you're still buying those eggs at the the store. store. That's how you get 100% 100 calcium calcium carbonate. carbonate. You can use that as an acid acid reflux reflux uh, issue. issue. You can use it in all sorts of baking goods. You can use it all across the board there. But But I'm going to go buy buy some Tums right now. now. Why? Why? Because Because I have have it available available to me. me. I might not in a couple of weeks. weeks. Same Same thing with with low-dose aspirin. Same Same thing thing with with, uh, Benadryl, Benadryl, uh, diphenhydramine, I think it is. Uh, Same same thing with Vaseline, Vaseline, even though it's not great for you. It's good to have for burns. Aloe vera, all those things. Get ahead of this, guys. Don't put yourself in financial constraint, but if you have the ability and you see what you know you're going to need in a couple of weeks, you're going to offset the inflation. Because let me tell you, Mondelez, Mondelez, uh, Procter & Gamble, Gamble, Kraft, Kraft, all of these these corporations, corporations, they're going to increase the price because they're going to be selling selling less less because because they can get get less less to these these, uh, grocery grocery stores stores and to the Walmarts. So they they sell sell less, less, they charge you more more because because there's there's no no such thing as as, uh, less less profit profit for their shareholders. So going back to what we were looking at here. Uh, The Uh, Russian Russian Federation Federation says that that we're going going to see see that that issue. The attacks attacks against the Red Sea are are a clear clear example of a violation violation of international international law, law, according to a U.S. US official. official. They say in less than 24 24 hours, multiple multiple missile missile attacks attacks were carried out in Syria, Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, and Yemen. This has shown a greater risk of a wider regional conflict than anyone had imagined. Over the past past week, week, missile missile and drone attacks attacks were conducted conducted in Israel, Israel, Gaza, Gaza, Lebanon, Lebanon, Syria, Syria, Iraq, Iraq, Iran, Pakistan, Pakistan, Yemen, Yemen, and the Red uh, Sea sea by state state and non-state actors. actors. Now, let me tell tell you, in this video, video, right here, down in the comments, comments, somebody's going to say, nothing nothing ever happens. happens. Let me read that to you again. Missiles, uh, missile and drone attacks were conducted in Israel, Gaza, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Iran, Pakistan, Yemen, and the Red Sea by state and non-state actors. We saw the largest, most complex attack on a U.S. base. We saw a significant escalation of ballistic missile attacks against U.S. personnel inside of Iraq. This led to multiple injuries. We've seen 175 attacks to date. And yet some troll out there. Whether he's a Russian Russian troll, troll, a Chinese Chinese troll, troll, I don't know what it is. He's going to say nothing ever happens, happens, or she, or whatever they want to identify as. They're going to say nothing nothing ever happens. happens. And what that's that's going to do do is cause a lot of people people who want to be willfully ignorant ignorant to say, you know what, you're you're right. right. It's normalization because you're still waking up breathing today. So you think, oh, well, I can just get through with it another day, and you can. But failure to be prepared is you You purposefully purposefully preparing preparing to fail. fail. If you don't don't wear your your seatbelt, a seatbelt can't can't catch you. you. 
if you, uh, you know, if you, know, drive, you drive with your, with your eyes, eyes closed, closed, you won't, you won't know, know what you're, what going, you're going, to going to hit. If you don't have you a don't fire, fire extinguisher in your, in your house, house, you can do nothing, nothing to fight that fire when it happens. happens. Being, Being prepared, prepared is what it's what about, about right now. now. You have you a have chance, and I'm giving, giving that to you. you. You have a you have chance, chance to get, to get out, out there and get ahead, get ahead of this. Of this. Without, Without that, that chance, chance you're going to be behind, behind it. it. And let me tell, let me you, tell you, they're already they're saying already the U.S. military, military is behind the problem. The problem. They're already, they're already saying, saying that, we're that we're are, we are, are going, going to see attacks, attacks against, against U.S. US infrastructure. infrastructure. So, so when these lights, lights go out, out these lights that are putting light on me right, right here, here, when they, when they go, go out, out guess, guess what? what? People, People are going, going to be crazy. crazy. Inside, inside of your city, inside of your neighborhood or your apartment complex, how many? do you know how many people there are willing to do violence to protect their own family or feed their own kids? A lot of them. And so, so having, having an idea, an idea of, of what you're, what going, you're going, going to do, to do how, how you're going, going to hunker down, down how, you're how you're going, going to prepare, prepare, what you're going to do to communicate with family, with family. those, those are, are the things, things that make it so that so you aren't, aren't behind the loop. The loop. That's, not That's not where you want to be. be. So, every so every day here at Full Spectrum Survival, survival we are bringing you information, data from around the world, open source intelligence operatives. We have insiders that are sending us information. We have military personnel telling us what it's like right there where they're at. We have law enforcement saying, hey, this is what the, they're telling us to be ready for. So you guys might want to be ready for this too. Every day we bring you this information so that you can have even just a little bit of a buffer against the darkness. Be a lighthouse, guys. That's what I'm asking for you. Be a lighthouse so that other people in the darkness know that there's no despair. With preparedness, there's no fear. That's what we do here. We survive. Full Spectrum Survival only on YouTube. Thank you guys for being with us every day. Leave a comment. Tell me what you're seeing. Tell me what you think the most likely thing to happen is. What do you think people should buy now that might be affected by these supply chain issues? Let them know because those are action. That's actionable intelligence that you are giving them that they can say, okay, I can do that. Uh, a great example I have right here next to me. I'm going to try and reach and not get uh, messed up by the camera up here. What's this? What's this? Well, well, this is this just, is just an, inexpensive an inexpensive Duracell, Duracell single battery, battery headlamp. headlamp. It's not, it's the, not brightest. the brightest. You know, you're not going to get tons, tons of lumens, lumens out of it. But what I am going to get is hours and hours, and hours of charge out of a single double A battery. Well, what happens, what happens when, when that runs out? out? Great thing the United States has is the Dollar Tree. At the Dollar Tree, you have those little solar lights that you can push into your grass, right? Well, each one of them recharges and includes a single rechargeable AA battery. So you put a couple of those in your bug out bag. Now you can just strap those to your backpack if you have to evacuate. Now you've got the sun charging it while you're walking. At nighttime, you've got a flashlight. And even though it's not the brightest of lumens, it is going to give you an advantage when you need it. Just remember. Everybody, Everybody, if they're in the, they're dark, in the dark, this is going to stand out a lot, so only so use it when you need it. But get ahead, get ahead with, these, with types these types of things. things. That's, That's what, we're what we're asking you to do. From my, From my family, family to yours, please, please stay, stay safe, safe and keep, and keep watch. watch. This, this week's Full Spectrum, Spectrum News is brought to us by each one of you. If you're asking for antibiotics, check out contingencymedical.com. The code FSS10 works there. Nutrientsurvival.com has meals that are ready to eat, lots of other plans there. Use the code FSS15. And if and you're if looking, you're looking for, somebody for somebody who's interested, interested in you surviving, surviving check out stevequail.com. Steve lots, lots of links, lots, lots of info. He does lots of podcasts, podcasts and things. things. Check him out. He's, he's always been there for your community. community. From my From family, my family to, yours, to yours, everyone, good luck. Good luck. And keep watching. Keep watching.